Hi visitors, my name is Thomas Sommer, head Sommer of the Gomera Song Lehrbach here in Bergstadt, Bach, Germany. Welcome to our wine cellar and this is where we start. Our concept is pure nature. We start already with the wine list. This is a wine list made out of E leather, so handmade, very rare, not very often seen. And of course we got the green concept, pure nature. We've got about a thousand references, I would say, mainly German. And what's Germany all about? It's about Riesling. Please follow me. Seven. Of course, our goal is to present in our three-star Michelin restaurant with Nies Henkes Kitchen some of the best examples of German Riesling, German dry Riesling. German Riesling does need to be all the time sweet. Of course, there are great examples, but we are more here with this type of kitchen, more for the dry examples. Like, for instance, one of the rising stars at the moment, Tim Fröhlich from Schäfer Fröhlich, 2004, Monsinger Hahnberg, Großes Gewächs, as we call the Grand Cru. In the tri-star. Of course, you know all of these guys. If you want to zoom in, and here this is um, probably the I would say Hall of Fame with the G Max and um, Morstein from Keller. Of course, we got them in several vintages, um, but they are highly over demanded at the moment, so you can't get too much on the market. So we are also for the small producers, but high quality producers. Like for instance. Daniel Wagner from Wagner Stempel with the Stiefers Hammer Hackers 2007. Great vintage, great winery, and never forget, great guy. Um, we can continue like this about an hour since we're having about um, 300 different German dry Rieslings. And then we, of course, have the great examples of the, um, of the sweet wines as well, like here. 97 Cheche Prüm, Wilner Sonno Auslaser. Probably a wine you all know, guys, all around the world since this is very famous, but we also get the new stuff like from Fahrt, von Winning which is um, renamed, remodeled winery a uh, really great example of, um, of German wine wine, um, yeah, wine growing um, don't forget, our second goal is to find good, elegant but high, um, high quality products from the rest of Europe like for instance France if we are in Bourgogne region, we've got a high selection of uh, Meursault, of Spil du Montrachet, of Chassin du Montrachet, like all the ones from, um, from um, Dominique Lafont, from, um, from Liv Liv, from um, all the rest, like Koshkiri, stuff like this. It's great, and we don't forget Elsas as well. Elsas recently can be interesting as well, and most of the time it is. Um, but, of course, we have red ones as well. Um, but when you're in the restaurant, don't be sure. You, you might see that we're serving a lot of white wine. It's just a reason of the, of the uh, menus Mr. Henkel is preparing because most of the dishes are with seafood or, um, or fish, stuff like this. So we are more, much more with white than with red. But we have great examples from Germany with red wine as well. Like, for example, what might I show you? I'd like to show you Fritz Becker here with his um, vineyard called Kammerberg. 2005 um, Pinot Noir Großes Gewächs, Spätburgunder Großes Gewächs, which is actually on the French side of the border. Then we've got Austria, high selection of Austrian wines. Austria is rising a lot in quality and makes really fun presenting these kind of wines. We have Bourgogne as well, like the um, Great Musigny from Comte uh, Georges Bocquet. Of course, we should never forget, um, as well, Domaine Romani Conti, the DOC, and we've got as well La Romani from Domaine de Chelbert. So it's mainly about Bourgogne. But we've got, of course, as well the Rhone region. Then we are here with Nigal, but also less well known producers, but high quality producers like Chateau Saint Cosme in this case. Woman is Fetus 2006, she don't does. Great, great producer, very good value for money. And then, of course, we've got Italy. Italy, mainly um, Piemont and Tuscany region. Um, i give you a huge, big examples of it. But we all know this stuff, Masetto. Um, but there are great other examples as well. Like, I would like to show you the Caponella, in this case, 2001 Solaro. Great wine as well. 
you're dealing them in the big bottles as well. So you can put them all on top there. And of course we've got Spain. Spain like the biggest is here only cool. Yeah. I love Espectacle from the Mont Saint region. This guy's a little young but we'll have some time to you here when it's matured. And of course we've got old ones, talking about old ones as well. Um, I've got some very mature examples like in this case. Shot of Lafitte Old Shot from 34. I just served the bottle about two weeks ago and this still had been a great, great example of the Lafitte in the 30s which haven't been a good time period. Yeah, all these wines and of course other examples of our wine selection in combination with great food you can expect. You can expect them here in our restaurant, Tomi Restaurant Lerbe. I would love to welcome you here anytime soon. Bye bye.